question 21. Now the key thing here is that we're told that the volume of the cylinder is equal to the volume of the sphere. So let's just go and work out the volumes of both in terms of R and H and then just make them equal. So starting off with the cylinder, how do you work out the volume of a cylinder? Well, it's, the, it's just a normal prism, isn't it? So you work out the area of the end bit and multiply that by its depth. Well, the end bit is a circle. How do you work out the area of a circle? That's pi r squared. So the area of the cylinder is just pi r squared times h. So we'll just stop there. We'll just do that in one line. Now, with regard to the sphere, the volume of a sphere is given. It is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So, 4 thirds pi, but on this occasion the radius is 2r. So it's 2r all cubed. Now be careful, the classic error here is just to say that is 2r cubed. It isn't. It's 2r times 2r times 2r, which is 8r cubed. So make sure you can get from there to there. That's the classic um, mistake. So, um, so then tidying this up, 4 8 to 32, 32 divided by 3 is the just the number bit, so 32 pi r cubed. Now we're told that these two volumes are equal, the volume of the cone is, of the cylinder rather, is equal to the volume of the sphere, so pi r squared h equals 32 pi r cubed. Now you can cancel a pi from both sides, it's effectively dividing through by pi, and you can also cancel an r squared from both sides. So that leaves us with r h, uh, no, that leaves, excuse me, with h equals 32 over 3 times this, the one remaining r. Okay, so just so go over that bit again. Dividing both sides by pi r squared, that just leaves us with h on the left and 32 over 3 r on the right. So give your answer in its simplest form. Expression for h in terms of r, well h equals 32 over 3 times r.